Hey, this is Manga Drew. I just thought I'd quickly play Party Hard and just, you know, get a video up and just see how you all doing. Well, more precisely, y'all seeing how me doing, but... I mean, from the American South, I just love the word y'all. And I love this game, this is a nice, uh, nice little quick game to play if none of you have played this before. It is a classic, and... As it is a classic, I'm gonna click on the classic mode now. Fucking love this soundtrack as well, man. So yeah, um, let's start at the beginning. Um, I don't know if it'll play the opening video, but it might do. And if it does, I'll I'll keep quiet while we get the uh, get the introduction rolling. Nope, uh, it didn't play the opening video. That's fine. Uh, premise of this game is uh, I'm the little guy dancing in the corner there. Um, so premise of this game is you were woken up in the early hours by your neighbors, and now you're going to kill them all. Oh, I just need to remember how to do it. Uh, yeah, E. E is stab, I think R is lift up. So yeah, you gotta kill your neighbors, party girls, but you've gotta be smart about it. Like, um, ideally leave, uh, no witnesses. If anyone catches you, they can set the police on you. Police can nab you. Game over. Um, sometimes there's little traps, like this little trolley here. And in that one shot, I've just wiped out 13 people. So, objective is... Just like the um, final episode of Spark the Kiss Blood and Sand, Season 1. Kill them all. Right. I'm just, uh, right, so I've got this guy down here by the light. I could probably, I could probably stab both these people, to be honest. Yeah! Gore! But hopefully the, oh, I'll just get out of the way of you. You can find these bodies yourselves, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna back off and let you find these. Did she just walk right past the corpses? Is she love struck or something? Oh, I think she might have noticed them now. <laughs> oh, just watch me in the center. Not do me, I'm just here enjoying the party. And pissing people off by it seems. <laughs> They're just jealous of my moves. Oh, another little trap in this first level. Break the stove. This will explode at some point. God, I really do love the soundtrack of this game. Just a nice little simple electronic. Oh. Boom. It helps not being around uh, when the police see the body. Wait, so the police are just being called now and they've just mowed down two people. I, I like that detail. So may say it's a fitting critique of the American justice system. If this is set in America, I don't know if it is. I mean, there's a British flag there, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> the ambulance just runs someone over as well. Ah, uh, where am I? Ah, uh, I'm in amongst everyone. Right, I don't want to stab uh, someone while there's someone running around, well, on the window there, because they may also see it. Oh. I've rigged the uh, bookcase to collapse. Just look at the clown. Look at the clown. Oh, for fuck's sake. Clown got away. Maybe someone will trigger it, though. Oh, just gonna... And back. Oh shit! That was close. Yeah, anyway, I was. I thought I'd just throw some ago because I, I kind of want to at least get one video on a week. Um, ideally, the Johnny Come Lately podcast, but you know, me and Cambrian aren't always available at the same time. 
Recently, there's been issues with uh, Cambrian's availability because he's a busy man, and that's fine. I'm not going to blame him for it. Today, it was kind of more on me, though, where he was available this morning, but uh, I wasn't. I was at the hardware store, let's just say, and getting supplies, and I've been doing some DIY work in the house today, putting up shelves because I'm just bloody obsessed with shelving. <laughs> like, I've, uh, I've even got one on this I've even, like, put some up in this computer room as well. Like... These weren't here a couple of weeks ago, so... Hey, you know, um... I've got a house. Having a house is cool and all. It's not like... I wouldn't say it's like a really small... It's not a small house. It's not like a big house either, and... A couple of the rooms, like the bathroom, for instance, is a bit crowded, so... Storing, you know, like towels and toiletries, things have to be in, like, shelves and cabinets. Anyway, back... Ooh, back to the murder. You can poison the punch. This is um, probably one of my favorite ways of getting rid of party goers. Because they'll just unwittingly, if they stand next to it, the implication is I guess they're drinking it. And it takes a little while to take effect, so that's not bad. Oh. Can I get anything in here? No, no, I can't. Right. Look at the clown. So he should drop dead in a minute. Yep, and that lady there as well. Right in the middle of the dance floor. Get rid of him, and I will set the place on fire. Got rid of someone else. And now the fire services are called. Whoa, shit! I got mashed by the cop car. <laughs> Alright. Probably don't have to explain too much. Uh, one thing I do like about this game is sometimes it will randomize elements, like uh, all these particular traps won't necessarily be here or be in like the locations that they're in. Ugh, just knocked myself out there, but uh, it took 13 people with, with me, so that's fine. the sleeper. You can pick up sleeping people as well, but they also like risk waking up. I'm just gonna safely put you down and stabby stabby. Oh, um, I don't always do this if there's no witnesses around, but something you can do, which I'll demonstrate now, is you can like dump bodies in places like that uh, bin there and, oh shit, someone's gonna see me. I best uh, just keep out of sight. Probably best I hang around this corner anyway, because as I said, um, if you're in the vicinity and a cop sees the body, they can also go for you then, and then it's game over as well. So I'll just hide out while the cop tags and bags these people. Presumably um, bagging the bodies, but just leaving them on the ground. <laughs> I guess he's had a busy night. You'll be having a very busy night by the time I'm done. That was a risky one, but I uh, hey, got away with it. Ugh. You ain't telling anyone, bitch. Might be a bit too mean, probably. Hey, I may be killing these polygons, but there's no need for the harsh language. Oh, for the first level anyway, this is a pretty convenient place to stab people. Because you can kind of jump out the window there and take them away, but there's a, a couple of people there who might see me, so... Let's just set another trap and... Whoop! 
One, two. Okay, I've got two poison people. Right. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, it's 47. All right, 47, 23 kills. I'm getting to the halfway point. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, yeah. That cop might have caused me some trouble if he saw me there. I'm guessing he didn't. Nope. Oh, well, um, I'll just let the poison run its course because, you know, it's just a temporary effect. It'll kill a few people and I know the poison will wear off, I guess. So if someone suddenly drops dead and you're there, you don't want to be there because it'll immediately draw attention to you. What's cool is sometimes poison people will die in the middle of a crowd. I don't know if they will on this level. But then, um, if, say, one of the innocent crowds next to the body and someone else spots them, they might then f accuse that person and the police will come and take them out. Ah, it's just a fun little game. I've played this tons, and I've, I've actually unlocked every bloody achievement in the base game before, but... You know, it, it's a nice one, and you know, a level is just very quick to play. A little bit of a diversion. I like the sort of old-school graphics, very reminiscent of old PC games. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll demonstrate. So yeah, carry this guy's body out here, just dump it around the corner. It's a, it's a cool place to dump people. So the idea of this first one is just to, like, not get caught. But, um, say if you got caught without anyone spotting any bodies, like if you successfully conceal them or anything like that, uh, you know, you can get little, little rewards for it. Like, if you're, um, in this level, or any level really, if you, if you can... Or if you complete all levels, I think, I don't remember, without anyone even spotting a body, you unlock, like, additional characters you can play, because at the moment I'm just playing as the, the regular killer with a knife. Uh, you can also play as uh, Katie, who's another character that's introduced later. Um, Ninja is the one you get for if you do the job and no one sees you. You unlock him and you can play as him, that's a pretty good one as well. Alright, I've been spotted. Right, um, I'm not going to be too bothered about this, because I may as well just demonstrate this little thing as well. So, I'm guessing that's supposed to be handcuffs above me. I'm just going to jump out the way, and when you use one of these escape routes, it triggers Mario to appear. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, a, a stereotyped uh, blue and red Italian plumber character who... Will destroy your escape exit so you can't use that again. Just to, just to up the difficulty. And he's probably noticed there. Um, if you escape from the cops long enough, they just kind of give up and go away. All right, this fellow in a trench coat. Sometimes you can like buy things off them. Don't think I can on this occasion. Fucking punk haired guy pissing on the plant there. Take out computer guy. Take out this guy. Take out this guy. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, I should not have done that. That was lucky. Well, I'm staying out of the way of the cop car this time. So something else you can do, and you know, I have the highest respect for our firemen, but I'm not going to play Moral Guardian now after just murdering these innocent party goers. Boosh! Killed all the firemen for extra points. I think the fire will just burn itself out anyway. Ah, lonely lady there. Do 
don't have to worry about being lonely anymore. <sighs> and for revenge for your loneliness, I will now take out a loving couple. Ah, I'm a maniac. I'm a maniac on the floor. And I'm um, dancing like I never danced before. These people don't seem to appreciate my art history. My expressive movements. Well, I'm not getting anything from you, so I'm just going to stab you. All right, we've got ten people left. Oh, I think I can push this guy down here into the... Fuck. Hmm. I think I could have pushed that guy down there into the fire, but he pissed off. Rig the uh, fire hydrant to explode. There is a command which shows you like what things you can booby trap. I've just played this so much, I, I kind of already know it. Right. Okay, here's an easy kill. Oh, here's one of the hiding spots. You can hide them in the ice bucket. So how's everyone's Sunday going? Uh, to be honest, I probably posted this on a Monday evening, but it's Sunday for me, and it's, uh, what's the time? Jesus, it's actually after 11 o'clock, so it's, it's quite a late Sunday at that. I just did want to go another week, um, you know, having not recorded any Johnny Come Lately's, I didn't want to, like, just leave another week not recording anything, and since I don't have any more human organ, st well, animal organ stories to tell, I'll just start play a little bit of a game. Okay, after the story about me having fucking organs in jars and uh, getting escorted out of my place of work and fired, now playing a game where I'm just going around murdering innocent, if obnoxious people, uh, probably not a good look for me. Be careful how you look at me. So yeah, this game is actually a few years old, uh, Party Hard. Um, I believe, it, yeah, you can buy it on the PS Network, I think. Um, I'm playing the version from Steam on my laptop, and I, I do think this is the better version, because apart from the base... Oh my god, why did I do that? Oh. Ah, I got lucky there. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes if someone sees you commit murder, but someone's already alert and calling the police, um, I'm guessing there's mixed messages and you might not get identified. Man, that was lucky, because that could have easily ended my turn so close to the end of this level as well. Just gonna wait for the Rosa to leave, and... Oh, damn it. Oh. Let's take care of the pesky DJ who's apparently so enthralled in his work. He, uh. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Oh. Dude, this is a fun little bloody violence game. Because, yeah, it, it's bloody and violent, and, you know, you are just murdering people. But because of the, um, sort of classic game kind of quality to it, it. it it's pretty inoffensive to watch, I think. You know, in comparison to, say, you know, a Mortal Kombat game or, you know, anything else. Victory Dance! BBQ Party. 11 minutes, well, 11 minutes 50. It took a little longer than that just because I had to restart the level. You arrived at the scene after the oh, assailant had fled, some plot. correct? A little after 3 a.m. Were you aware of his current mental state at the time, Mr. West? His mental state? His confusion. The blood dripping from his hands, like 
Someone else was driving him forward, yet a bright light leading him onwards. I heard that bright light, as you so eloquently put it, was just a bunch of biker trash scumbags in search of lost souls. Guess he must have hitched tea. a ride with them somehow. Perhaps it was when they realized that the party was already dead. Because it's late and I don't Excuse need any caffeine at this time. Speaking of dead, wasn't your daughter Katie at that party, Mr. West? Seeing her blood zigzagging between those bathroom tiles, it was like a sledgehammer using my stomach as a welcome mat, drowning without water. Jesus. She was so messed up that I couldn't even ID the body. Uh, so yeah, um, there is a plot going throughout this, in the space between these different levels, um, of a guy talking to a cop, a copy of Mr. West, I guess. So yeah, we did the, uh, barbecue party. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play, like, the whole game for you guys. I mean, if you're interested, by all means, you know, let me know. So it's kind of just a filler, because I, I really do need something to put on this channel, and, you know... Because I have been getting such kind of a risk, like a nice response from like the people who are engaging with me on some of these videos, I don't just want to like leave ages without like uploading anything. So, do a little story time last time, play a little bit of Party Heart, and uh, hopefully next week I'll actually get round to recording another Johnny Come Lately's episode. I've also got a couple of other games in the works as well, but uh, this is a nice easy one to put on. Yeah, what I was saying is, uh, this is my version of the Steam one, which as well as the base game uh, has some expanded levels on it, uh, which you don't get with the PlayStation. There's also, um, while we're on the screen, go on additional levels. You can um, there's basically a level editor where you can make your own levels. So like all this stuff here, like uh, I'm kind of scrolling through now. This is all stuff submitted by other people, which you can just play, and that's that's really fucking cool. Um, some of the best levels I've, I've actually played on this game have just been, like, uh, fan-made ones. Like, fan-edited levels. Um, yeah, I might, might check one of those out later, but I'm just going to stick with the base game at the moment. Um, yeah, I've been recording a little while, but I'm going to... I'll jump on the second level of the main game. Uh, play as the... Darius. <laughs> Ah, I'm in the corner again. <laughs> Some of the other characters will just fight and kill each other. This is a really catchy soundtrack. Yeah, so one person's already dead. It's not by my hand, but apparently I get the kill. As well as the kill the cop who just ran someone over. Right, uh, what else? What other mayhem can we cause? Oh, cops just took out someone else who was identified as the murderer. Incorrectly, I might add, but that's what happens during the, during the confusion. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Bastard ID ID'd me as the killer. Did I kill that person? This might sound strange. I'm not sure if I killed that. Maybe I pressed E by mistake. <laughs> Probably. I'm a boomer. Not really, but I may as well be. I'm an old man playing video games. Wow, well, you know, early to mid 30s. Not even I want to think about how old I actually am, so I'm just going to say early to mid 30s. Hey, poisoned a bunch of folks. Uh, because when people die and uh, anyone around them will be immediately identified as a, as a killer and, you know, they'll send the cops after them, I'm just going to sit out this for a moment. Drink more of my herbal tea. I don't drink a whole lot of herbal tea, uh, just... It's, it's like late at night, and I do like some varieties. Just don't want any caffeine at this time because I've got like my day job in the morning. I actually forgot what's in this. Um, there's some ginger. Uh, it's a uh, puka brand tea, which are quite cool. I do like those. 
So hey, if you're interested, it is at puckerherbs.com. Uh, this one's called Revitalized Tea, I forgot what's in it. Uh, there's some ginger in it, uh, might be some cardamom. Something else, I'm not sure. It's pretty good, and I'm a big fan of ginger teas and things like that, just because they help with congestion, and... Congestion's just one of the fucking banes of my life for, um... Well, suspected medical reasons. I can barely breathe through my nostrils. Ooh. Well, that was a convenient kill, and I will dump him in the sewage drain. Well, sewer. Whatever. Hey, 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 threw that guy into the grill. Ah, oh, here's a nice little trap as well. I... Should be able to get at least... Hey, got two people off with that. Off? <laughs> got two people... Took two people out with that. Getting people off is a whole other kind of game genre, and uh, it's, uh, it's not my bag. Not usually, anyway. I've never played one of those particular games, to be honest, so... Who knows, maybe they will be fun. Obviously, if I did get one of those games and played, I can't exactly play it on this bloody platform, can I? I'm sure all this bloody murder stuff's fine, though, just, uh... Anything else of a more adult nature? No, 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 no. Oh! Horse. Spook the horse and kill someone. Uh, no, I'm not going to stop him. There's potential witness. Well, I think he might just ignore me anyway, so let's go. How many deaths? Oh, actually, there's less people at this party, so this shouldn't take as long. Any other traps? Uh, well, there's a trap to start the fire in here, which I may as well use. Should take out at least one person. God, I, I do love these tunes. It's not my favorite one, and um, there is one tune in particular from this game that just really, honestly, gets stuck in my head all the bloody time. I'll point it out if I uh, if I end up playing a level and it, it comes on. It's, it's just so cool. And with everything I say, that's cool. That's a very relative term. For instance, I was looking at some old uh, Weimar Republic German money on eBay before coming on this. To me, that's cool. Other people. I don't think so. Oh, I would like some old Deutschmarks, though. From the Weimar Republic, just... Yeah. German interest. German... German history is interesting. I can't talk. Let's quickly take out the waiter. Oh, right, uh, this guy here with the bar, it's like a... It's like a stress panic bar. If that gets full up, like, if he sees too many dead bodies, then he'll, like, kind of go on a rampage and try and take you out as well. I don't know what's the deal with the knight there, but... <laughs> no idea, but, uh, nice little game. I, I do, I just do, I like the little humor in this. Like, you know, murdering people, dark premise, but its presentation's just, like, so comedic and fun. I, I don't see... Yeah, if I had kids, I'd probably let them play it as well. Of course I would have, but that's because I'm horribly irresponsible. God, one of the earliest movies I remember watching as a kid was Alien 3, and although I didn't, like, understand the whole context of it, it I became obsessed with Xenomorphs. You know, watching that stuff as a little kid's fine. I mean, look at me, I turned out okay. Just ignore the um, organs and the jar story from last week, please. Okay, I can take out the uh, other waiter. Just 
going to wait for that officer to go away. Yeah, only six people left. It can be a pain though when the last few people are like all crowded in this room because obviously you can't like sneakily take them out one by one. Ah, you on the other hand, I could. Nope, that officer don't need to see anything. <sighs> Some close calls in this round. Okay. Obviously their field of vision doesn't go that far. <laughs> Alright, I think I just got the two cowboys left. Okay. I'm gonna turn you in a chicken feed. Alright. Took out another group of party goers. Let's uh let's have my little bit of a victory dance. Yeah, to be honest, I'm probably just going to call this a night here, just a quick vid, but uh, hey, if you want to see me play the other levels, uh, go ahead. Um, though if you have Steam, uh, or may, you know, maybe even the PS4 one, if it's cheap enough, I would recommend getting it. It's, just a, it's a very cool, like, quick, fun game. It's quite easy to control, like, just basically direction buttons and a few, a few like, things on the keyboard, that's it. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, so this was, uh, I guess this is my video for the week. I'm starting another series in the morning, uh, which is going to be, uh, like a little bit of an accountability thing. I've mentioned my weight loss a few times on this channel, and although I did do quite a bit of progress since, like, lockdown started, I actually lost, like, 15 kilograms. Uh, my fitness and weight loss has been slacking a bit recently, um, just due to the mood and... Other things, uh, I've ate fairly poor this weekend, I've actually done no fucking exercise at all, barring, like, steps the past few days, in fact, yesterday I didn't even do my usual step count, so... I need to get back on that, I need to be disciplined again, so... I'm gonna start recording, uh, my week's progress. I won't, uh, post it until the weekend, though, so... Um, possibly even next week, I think I might, uh, do sort of... Monitoring for the whole week, and then just post like one video, say the beginning of next week. But hey, don't need to ramble on about that. Uh, anyway, that was the first two levels of Party Heart, and yeah, um, maybe I'll play some more. Posh it up to you guys. Hey, if you guys like it, let me know. But uh, yeah, uh, I really appreciate the interaction on this channel recently from some of the people on it, and you know, that's just awesome because obviously I'm a tiny, tiny YouTuber, and I don't see myself, like, making YouTube a career. I don't have those, like, delusions of it. Um, it is fun, though, and it is really... It's especially fun and nice when uh, some people do watch and do get involved, so I do absolutely appreciate it. So, uh, hey, for you guys watching and who have been involved, thank you very much, and uh, have a good night. I'll, I'll be back soon, hopefully.